They may have told you to go to the big city, chase the busy crowds, find the bright lights, but no, you chose your own path to stay right here. I'm your host, Claire Bouvier. Welcome to the Small Town Entrepreneur Podcast, where opportunity is just on the other side of the door. Welcome back to another episode of the Small Town Entrepreneur Podcast. You might hear little leaves rustling and my feet on the ground walking through a national park in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm coming live from the Pacific Spirit National Park. And I thought that this week we're on the go today and for two reasons. The first reason is something has really shifted in a lot of the ways I've been working. And I thought, you know, as I'm learning, as I'm growing, as I'm building out my brands and my businesses, I thought at the end of the day, what's one thing that has been so impactful in the work I've been doing for me, whether it's how I work, when I work, what I'm working on. I've come to learn a lot of things in the last couple months But I think the biggest thing that I had to sit back and I thought I'd share with all of you today that's been so helpful for me is getting outside of our own head. And we might hear that a lot. And it's like, okay, what does that really mean? And I found that over 10 years of doing cognitive behavioral therapy, uh, when you work for yourself, you, you know, you have the things that have to get done now things that you want to build towards, the things that might be not super important, but if you don't take care of them, it'll cause a lot of anxiety down the road. And something that I've really started leaning into is to not be the driver of my own thinking at the beginning of the day, because naturally me with someone with our ADHD or anyone that worries a lot or lives in the future or is thinking as a perfectionist or thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? Or I screwed this up. How am I going to fix it? How do I have this conversation? And if anyone else lays in bed with the Rolodex of worries, the stresses, you're not alone. (laughs) We all worry about anything and everything. And I'm someone that seems to be, no matter how many times people says, oh, stop worrying, you know, it's going to be okay. It just doesn't that doesn't help. But something that's really, really been impactful is tuning into other amazing thought leaders, other people that share another perspective. And I found starting my day recently, I've been starting listening to the mentor mindset, or is it mindset mentor? (laughs) I'll put in the show notes, I should know, with Rob Dial. And his episodes are short, and it's all focused on mindset, setting your day. And one that really was powerful and I keep coming back to was the worries that we have. Let's say, oh my gosh, I did this work. I have this thing that I've done, or I haven't finished it tomorrow. I might get sick and I won't be able to finish it, or it's not as good. I have to get up so early and I'm so worried because the client might be mad or whatever it is. These are the things that go through my head statistics show and I think that's what it is it comes down to is that I do really well and I think a lot of us do is that instead of someone saying oh stop worrying it's like okay well I'm gonna worry (laughs) but what's really cool is that there's some of the greatest researchers I'll happy to share some of the notes uh, (laughs) the research in this in this podcast but the biggest thing has been that 90% of the worry doesn't actually manifest into real life. So what we're really worried about doesn't really even happen. And I think what I've done, starting out with these mindset episodes, whether it's on perfectionism or worrying or our fears or setting goals or whatever it is, I keep coming back to the fact that every day I'm going to worry about something. You're going to worry about something. Something's going to happen where we're going to be worried, whether it's the past, present or the future. But to just know that 90% of those thoughts won't actually manifest, and then the ones that do, it's not nearly, it's like 12% of even what we envision happening to the severity of it. So I just thought I'd 
note, today's episode this week, I'm walking in nature and really thinking about, you know, it's wild how we can be consumed by our greatest fears, our biggest worries. What if this doesn't happen and we can be totally sucked in by the future, our future self of all the negative things. And so by just channeling a sense of gratitude, being grateful for the things that are going well, the things that are present, completely shifts our our mindset in a positive way, but also recognizing that that worry that you're thinking about right now, it's not going to manifest, 90% of it. And then a little bit might, but take action, figure that out. And I think to put it visualize when you have a worry and and I have almost this barometer in my head be saying okay 90% of this won't manifest I'm able to shut my brain off in a different way and it's been really powerful so if you can I think the biggest takeaway for me is to get in my own head listen to other researchers or other thought leaders to say hey you know we're all human we all feel this way but are your here strategies to channel gratitude to be positive the universe delivers in a big big way when we're grateful and we're open to take on these things i have to share something really fun being in vancouver for anyone that's had the chance to come to vancouver it's always full of surprises and i'm going to manifest it now because i think it's going to happen i believe it's going to happen i was walking down the street And my husband is a runner and he was running one of the races here in Vancouver, the East Side 10K. And we were after brunch, we were walking and I saw this gentleman walk by me and I thought, why does he look so darn familiar? And I kept looking at him, his parents looked back, he looked back and I just was like, hey, (laughs) I just yelled out, hey, guess what? Turns out, This guy, couldn't believe it, is Luke, for any of the fans out there that absolutely love the show Upload on Prime Video, Luke was on the street in Vancouver. And his name is, if you want to Google him, or however you want to look him up, he's on Instagram, is Kevin Bigley. Well, Kevin... I hope one day you get to hear this episode because I'm telling you, you made my day. You made my family's day. You are just an absolute gem in real life. And I'm excited about the new season coming out. But most importantly, you're going to come on the podcast. And we're going to talk about the sci-fi and the AI and everything that was built behind the show. And how you've been your own entrepreneur leading the way building out your own personal brand in this world and to see you in real life. You know, people like you on a champion and it it really was a big deal. So manifesting here, putting out there, we're going to have Kevin Bigley on the show eventually after he's done taping the fifth season of Upload. If you haven't seen it, it is so good. It is so fun. Check it out. And remember today, Disrupt your thinking. Just ask yourself, what am I stressed about? What am I worried about? And if the stats are really actually true, and they are because I'm testing every day, I write it down, and the next day I walk it through, and it doesn't manifest like it does in our dreams, laying in bed, worrying about the future. So take the time, take a breath, say out loud your stress, your fears, your worries, and know that They won't manifest as bad as we even can possibly conceive. Tune in to thought leaders like Rob Dial on the Mentor Mindset podcast and rechannel the way we are thinking because our mindset is the foundation truly for all the greatness that's going to come into your life. And I see it more and more every day and really want to lean into that and share these things as I'm learning and from other people that are learning. So... Thank you for joining on another episode of Small Town Entrepreneur Podcast. We'll see you next week. Cheers from Vancouver.